I think I got an overabundance of stuff at Walmart. I'm literally not going to have any room in my cabinet to put all my Blu-rays. I'm already running out of room. All right, let's get it out. First movie, have not seen it, heard phenomenal things about it. I'm really starting to dig crime dramas because I am maturing as a movie critic and I'm really starting to get into the genre of crime dramas and why not do another one, Heat. Steelbook as well. Um, I've heard fantastic things about Heat. Um, the fact that it has two giant heavyweights like uh, Pacino and De Niro. Um, hell yeah, man. And the fact that I get to watch that shootout scene on the surround sound in my TV, oh fuck yes. I've not seen this movie in a long time, this next movie. But when I saw it, what I remember out of it is that I expected it to be horse shit and it actually turned out to be good. And this is back when it came out, my opinion may have changed over time, but from what I remember, it was a good movie, and that is Journey to the Center of the Earth, um, Steelbook. I remember good things about this movie. I also remember it being a fantastic adventure movie. Um, I also remember the sequel being a piece of shit. So, um, I'm looking forward to watching this over again. Um, especially on my 75-inch uh, plasma screen TV. So, um, that's really going to look nice. Because I remember there were some pretty beautiful scenes in this movie. Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> Shaun of the Dead on Steelbook, man. Need I say more? Here's the uh, S Scott Pilgrim vs. the World Steelbook I was talking to you about. This is more easier to find than the other one was, but this one is hella cheaper than the other one. The other one was $15, this was $7. It's pretty much half the price. I remember falling asleep during the first 20 minutes of this movie, but apparently I missed out on some pretty badass shit to happen later in the movie as I've seen online and that is Book of Eli apparently some pretty badass shit goes down in uh, the later parts of this film but the beginning is so fucking boring I was babysitting a kid and I fell asleep the beginning of this movie fucking shit man but you know might as well born Two and three. I own the Bourne Identity. Um, thank God they were selling these because now I can complete the Bourne Trilogy. Um, fourth one's a piece of shit. Um, very glad that um, uh, Greengrass is returning so that Damon can return to his uh, action film roots in the Bourne series. But um, Bourne Supremacy is fantastic. I don't know why everyone says this is the weakest. Um, I guess it's, it is kind of slow in the middle. Um, but this is a fantastic, um, a spy espionage action thriller nonetheless. Um, Born Ultimatium, um, if you can ignore some of the shaky cam scenes and a couple parts, this movie is probably one of the best action movies of the 2000s. Uh, easily top five. I'll definitely tell you that right now. I was kind of hoping that this would be on Blu-ray, kind of as, kind of as my pre-expectations for Black Friday. I was thinking to myself, if they have this... I'm going to get it, so I kind of hope they did, but it was in the back of my mind, I didn't really think too much on it, but they did, 300 on Blu-ray, really cheap, 399 very nice, very, very nice, I'm really, really, just 300 great, it's great, Pacific Rim, I'm kind of bummed out that they didn't have the, like, the slip cover to this, because I know the slip cover is like, kind of like this 3D badass thing, you know, um, Pacific Rim my reviews on the in-depth reviews on my channel, but this movie, I got this movie because I was thinking of my surround sound. Picturing some of, some of the fight scenes in this movie in my surround sound would be fucking awesome. Is this movie fucking awesome? Not really. It's a moderately enjoyable one, and it is a damn beautiful one, but it's not that great of an action movie, especially with like giant mech robots fighting you know what is it the kaiju you know i've seen almost about 80 percent of every godzilla movie ever made and after seeing all that shit and then going to see this when it was out in the theaters it's the same old shit i've seen I'm not seeing anything new, nothing innovative, nothing new twists on it, it's the same old shit. But I mean, when I think to myself, the same old shit on surround sound, that's actually going to sound quite good. So, Pacific Rim. And, 399 
I'm completing a lot of my uh, franchises here um, with you know with all the other things that I've gotten in these movies that are about to come up but uh, let's, let's get through this now so I already have the other two of the trilogy on blu-ray so um, for really cheap 399 might as well have picked this up um, Dark Knight Rises um, this is one of those movies that the more I watch it the more I appreciate it I did not like this movie when it came out but um I watched this movie more and and I appreciate it a lot more than I did before. Completing my franchise once again is, uh, let's see here, uh, I got uh, Harry Potter, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and, uh, oh, other way, other way, Ron. there we go, uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, uh, Order of the Phoenix, and Half-Blood Prince. Um, this, uh, this one right there, that is the only shitty, really, movie of the franchise right there. Um, which is weird because some of the best moments, moments of the franchise come from Order of the Phoenix. Whether it be the, legi the, the legitimacy spells that Snape was using on Harry or, albeit whether they were going into the kind of, um, the, the Room of Requirement scenes were great, but... No, that, that that's that's a, that's a conversation for another day. Anyways, um, Half Blood Prince, underrated Harry Potter movie, uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. People have said that that's the best of the franchise. I see where they're coming from with that. I disagree because Chamber of Secrets is my personal favorite, but Prisoner of Azkaban's fucking amazing. Goblet of Fire, straight action movie, <laughs> fucking great uh, Harry Potter movie there though. Next up. The Blind Side. I don't have many feel-good movies, now that I realize it, in my uh, Blu-ray collection. I have, like, a couple. You know, like, Wreck-It Ralph, or, you know, Remember the Titans. I don't have many feel-good movies. I need more feel-good movies, because I just have a bunch of action films. Booms and bangs and all this shit. Blind Side... It's a feel-good movie. This movie... Is this movie sappy at some times? Yes, is it like overplayed as in like, oh, it's sad, you have to cry. Yes, but you know, the subtle moments get to you. Like when uh, Michael's bonding with his little brother. Those are the subtle moments that are the feel-good moments of the film. I'm actually literally about to pop this on right now. I need a little bit of feel-good right now, you know what I mean? Ooh, Hurt Locker. I've not seen the Hurt Locker. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've not seen the Hurt Locker. I've heard... Fucking phenomenal things out of this movie. I adore the director. Uh, Catherine Bigelow has directed um, one of the five movies that are in my 10 out of 10 rating list. I've only given five movies a 10 out of 10. Um, Catherine Bigelow directed Strange Days, which is on that 10 out of 10 list. But um, people have actually said this is actually one of the best war movies of all time. So can't wait to give it a watch. Okay, I don't have many horror movies now that I think about it in my collection. Not many not many horror movies back there, but um, might as well add one. I, I Actually, I don't even think I have many. No more than like three, you know, at least good ones. But anyway, Sinister, straight, just horror, great, fantastic, just... It's weird, weird enough, this movie just came and went, but when people talk about Sinister, people are usually like, Oh yeah, that movie's scary, that movie's great. Movie's great. Movie's pretty good. Very creepy vibe, too. Let's end on a high note here. Safe. Jason Statham. In my opinion, Jason Statham's best movie. It's literally straight action movie. I made this comparison um, in my iTunes review. Remember that bullshit movie Mercury Rising with Bruce Willis protecting the little kid? I swear to God, someone saw that movie and said, What the fuck is this? We can make this movie loads better. And that's where Safe comes into play. Safe is literally a a good version of Mercury Rising. This girl, she's like a code breaker, and Jason Statham's protecting this girl. What more can you ask? I don't know. I, I like, I have a thing for action movies where it involves, you know, um, a little kid and um, the, the heroes protecting the kid. Or... The hero's taking vengeance for the kid, you know, like Man on Fire. Fucking great action movie there, but you know, great shooting scenes, fighting scenes, and great stuff all around. Black Friday has been a phenomenal year. Best Buy, you took the cake again. I'm going to list to you kind of like my thoughts on each of the stores real quick. But Best Buy, 
props to you guys. You guys kept your game up. You guys kept your shit together. You guys are number one again for the second year I've been doing this video. This video series that I'm going to actually start uh, making more of. But Best Buy, you took the fucking cake. You guys do, you keep doing what you're doing. You guys are nailing that shit down. You guys are fucking awesome. Next up down, Target. You stepped your game up, man. With these like really kind of relatively new films that are released. The Wolf of Wall Street, The Lone Survivor, and fucking Edge of Tomorrow. All these like new movies for hilariously cheap prices you guys stepped your game up from last year man and you guys kept with the consistent you know fast-paced lines with the lines not really slowing down you guys got it man so number two is going to be target number three is going to be walmart walmart yes may have the a little bit of a larger selection here but with your disorganization and just chaotic everything and your lines people can spend up to about like I did last year, an hour and a half in a line, almost an hour and a half in a line. You guys got to start fixing your shit, man. I'm telling you, like, your selection's great. Got it, man. But the chaos that ensues in Walmart, you need to kind of take a better job to kind of control that shit. You know what I mean? Anyways, guys, it's been great. Fucking love Black Friday. I don't even know how I'm going to have time to watch all these fucking movies, to be honest with you guys. But greatness, greatness. Fucking love these things, man. I'm going to start getting to watch them right now. So cannot waste any more time. I'll talk to you guys later. Please like and subscribe. Hey, comment. What did you guys get for Black Friday? What deals did you guys find? You guys have a nice holiday. And I will talk to you guys later.